the detail in those nebula is just incredible. Good evening, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm with Martijn. Hey guys. Again, I'm always with Martijn on field astro shoots, but tonight is gonna be different. <laughs> we are going to shoot at a um, lighthouse and we have a various interesting astro plan. So uh, see you at the lighthouse. arrived at uh, the lighthouse there. It's a uh, Saturday night, crystal clear. Uh, Saturday night, crystal clear. The combination uh, is uh, only happening about, I think, two times a year. <laughs> for, for my feeling, it's only three times a year. But, uh... <laughs> three times a year max. So yeah, we have uh, various plans. Uh, Martijn is planning a, a star trail with a Polaris above the lighthouse. Uh, we're also going uh, to shoot the Great Rift region of the Milky Way. And later in the evening, I'm hoping to get the 50 millimeters out to shoot the Cygnus region uh, somewhere also around the lighthouse. So yeah, we'll see uh, how it goes and uh, let's set up the star trackers. So while uh, setting up the star tracker, I've put on gloves because we're now well into November. That's actually uh, only the first evening where uh, the temperatures are going uh, below zero degrees Celsius. So it's going to be a cold one. But cold nights often mean clear nights, uh, so uh, that's fine by me. The tracker is running at the moment uh, for the first stack of the Milky Way and uh, while we were just uh, yeah, chilling, watching the stars here, uh, enjoying our beautiful night out, we looked back and we just saw the lighthouse behind us and the Cassiopeia region of the Milky Way really comes out beautifully right out of the, out of the lighthouse. So we have also the Pleiades next to it, uh, the Andromeda galaxy is uh, visible. So. Yeah, I've uh, shot a quick uh, simple stack with uh, this camera here and maybe I'll uh, redo it with the Astro Modified uh, camera later tonight so uh, that we can uh, make an even better shot. But still, even this simple stack is insanely cool. <laughs> great night, man. Yeah, great night. How was your first stack, Martijn? Yeah, it looked quite good. It was sharp. I see the Milky Way, so I'm quite happy. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, the grass is uh, <laughs> getting frozen. Yeah. Yeah, my feet are killing me. I yeah, you. mine too. For the rest? Still worth it. <laughs> so the uh, first stack is just done. Uh, I've uh, photographed the Great Rift region of the Milky Way at 24 millimeters, f4, ISO 800. Exposure times uh, can be pretty long here because we're shooting out over the sea where it's pretty dark, of course. Uh, exposure times, uh, I used exposure times of two and a half minutes. I've shot uh, 10 of the shots, so um, this uh, will be a good one. are you doing now Martijn? Uh, well I'm now working on my composition which is finished right now I'm going to put the lighthouse well right in the middle of my composition uh -huh. and now I'm uh, focusing on a star and afterwards I will make uh, I guess 90 shots of 30 seconds uh, to get uh, some nice star trails. So right now I'm switching to the 50 millimeters, uh, which I'm going to use to 
smooth <laughs> to uh, shoot the sickness region of the Milky Way. So just when we were thinking, yeah, the humidity in the air is not that high, the lens is freezing and fogging up, so uh, yeah, I'll put on a dew heater. <laughs> nice and cozy. My tracker is now uh, a little bit down there uh, shooting uh, H-alpha, shooting with the H-alpha filter, uh, I have to say. So what is H-alpha? Well, um, hydrogen alpha is a uh, sort of emission nebula and that means uh, that it actually emits light. But it emits light in a, a spectrum uh, near the infrared spectrum, so it isn't really visible to the human eye. But uh, camera sensors, um, that's the beauty of it, uh, camera sensors can actually shoot UV and infrared light, but camera manufacturers uh, normally yeah, put a sort of filter uh, in front of your sensor again so that the color balance looks natural. But my camera, the uh, Canon 6D, is astro modified, and that means that that UV IR filter is just um, taken off uh, so that it takes in. Uh, all the H-alpha light which is uh, available in the night sky and it is a lot and I really hope it shows. And oh yeah, it did. Wow, the first H-alpha nebula shot is just in with the H-alpha filter. <laughs> it looks insane. The detail in those nebulae is just incredible. So while I go down to shoot the foreground I should explain how I created the final result which I'm about to show you. So I'm back in the office now, back at home, and uh, well this won't be a, a full tutorial but I thought I might explain just a little bit more what I actually did to create the result. Uh, here you can see the foreground shot, uh, I shot it at 50 millimeters. Uh, I was standing below the stairs and I was shooting up at the lighthouse. You can see that the Milky Way here is uh, right next to it. If you look closely you can also see uh, yeah, the first contours of the uh, North America nebula here. And I have also made two sky stacks which are also tracked and uh, the RGB version uh, if I stack it it comes out something like this and of course I do a lot of editing and uh, also pay special attention to the color balance um, and it finally shows up something like this. Uh, yeah you can see that the H alpha nebula are really strong in this sickness region of the Milky Way. Here's the North America nebula, here's the Seder region. So yeah this already looks very good. And I've also shot a stack with only the um, uh, hydrogen alpha filter into my camera and the result this is actually a starless version I've created but the result comes something uh, comes out something like this which is uh, of course very red but you can see that the H alpha nebula are really well visible here eh? besides the North American nebula here in the Seder region you can also see that the Veil nebula looks beautiful and what I basically do I uh, extract the red channel from um, the result of the uh, HA stack because that has the uh, the best signal and uh, not too much noise and I convert that to a black and white version and I blend uh, this H alpha version back into the RGB version after aligning the two and um, well that eventually gives me the following results please let me know in the comments what you think So I think we'll call it a night now, uh, we're uh, packing our bags, um, we are freezing at the moment, but, <laughs> but we don't care because we've had uh, clear skies for the whole night, uh, for about uh, three hours. Yeah, what do you think Martijn? Good one? A, re a great one, yeah, yeah for sure, just as you told we didn't see any clouds for three hours, so that's kind of impressive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we've shot a lot of stuff, uh, the Milky Way, I've shot with H Alpha, the Cygnus region, uh, Martijn also did a star trail, yeah. how did that turn out? I think it's good, but it was my first time, so let's see how it ends up after uh, processing, but Curious. I think it's, uh, it's quite good. Nice, 
All right, so a successful night of astrophotography on a Saturday night. And uh, well, while we are uh, watching Orion rising there behind the camera, I think uh, I'll sign day. off here. Call it a day, call it a night, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.